you are surrounded by fungi. You're standing on fungi. You're breathing in the spores of millions and millions of spores every single waking minute of your life. And especially now that you're out here and it's moist and there's all these mushrooms out here, you're intaking millions of spores. Every single needle on these Douglas fir trees, and that little one inch long needle, has a tiny little hyphae of a fungus that helps the tree produce nitrogen. Every single square <laughs> inch of the soil has millions of miles of fungal hyphal threads. Every single tree in this forest is interconnected through this underground fungal network. This forest would not be here without the fungi, and the fungi would not be here without this forest. Every single tree seedling that sprouts in the Pacific Northwest and generally around the world uh, requires, within 24 hours of its little root going into the soil, a connected web from a fungus. And that fungus is basically, it's a root system. If you think about it that way. And it connects to that root of the tree. And the fungus supplies that tree with tons of water, especially in our uh, ecosystem here where we have about a three month drought in summer, the prime growing season. So the fungus supplies, it's called a mycorrhizal connection. Uh, where the, where the fungus connects with the roots of the, of the tree. And then the tree sends down about 50% of its photosynthates to its roots. And about 90% of that 50% goes to the mushroom, goes to the fungus. So there's this interconnection between the fungi and the forest. Every single terrestrial plant on this planet that they have so far studied requires and has the grass in your lawn, the laurel hedge, all these non-native things that we have in, in our neighborhoods and, and the native things that we have, all absolutely require this interconnected fungal web at its root level. So, if you really get into mushrooms, like, you can go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially depending on which one. Um, but, and you know, nobody, nobody knows about it, right? Like, when I say the word fungi, fungi is the overarching name for this uh, family. Um, and the mushroom is actually like an apple on a tree. It's the fruiting body of that fungal network, that, that root system underground. So when we are picking mushrooms, we're basically picking like an apple off of a tree. And they have done many, many studies, especially up here on Mount Hood, uh, on chanterelle picking. And uh, the, it was a 20 year study where they had all these plots and they picked every single chanterelle in that plot, 100% pick. 80% pick, 60%, 50%, 20%, etc. And then had all these control plots where they didn't pick any. They found absolutely no difference in 20 years of the amount of production of mushrooms in those plots. So you really don't have to worry about over harvesting. However, just like anything, there are these unwritten, you know, mushroom rules, mushroomer rules, right? You should always leave some. Other critters use them. Obviously, this ecosystem requires them. So it's a good thing to, to leave some. We don't have to take them all. Um, we just drove through 20 miles of habitat. We could have stopped anywhere along this road and picked tons of mushrooms. And even though we've got 40 people today, and we're gonna go in maybe a four or five acre area, we're still gonna leave mushrooms. Even the ones that you leave behind, you're gonna walk over some that you don't, won't even see. So in reality, the amount of mushrooms that are out here is uncountable, really. Oregon exports three million pounds a year of chanterelles to Europe. Just Oregon. And three million pounds is nothing compared to what's out here. That's fresh. Those things are picked on a, uh, a Friday afternoon, sold to the seller Friday night, and on somebody's dinner plate Saturday afternoon. Do you have mushroom recipes on your website? Mark's website, no, but we should. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And actually, I think everybody should like do that. <laughs> yeah, actually, that, that, that's a that's a good point. Um, it wouldn't hurt if people had a favorite mushroom recipe that they submitted to Bark. That would be great. Um, actually, it'd be much easier if you submitted it to me.